Today we're doing the Tag Your It answering 10 Yarny questions. So let's get started. I was tagged by Kara over at Rambutina. She has a lovely yarn channel. It's super fun. She's, um, I was just recently watching one of her lives where she was making uh, these mood flowers, like a little crocheted flower blanket and each flower represented a different mood like of the day. So it was super cool. She's got all kinds of tutorials and other videos showing makes and hauls and all kinds of stuff. So go check her out. I'm gonna link her down below. And that was Rambutina. And I'll also put her name down here, uh, her channel name, Kara. So thanks, Kara. <laughs> so uh, favorite color of yarn. My favorite colors tend to be like pastels, like blues, purples, pinks. So I like those, but I do like all different colors. So uh, the second question is favorite weight of yarn. I like to do uh, fingering weight, which is like a sock weight. Um, and I like worsted weight. Uh, I like to use like the fingering weight for lighter weight objects and then the worsted weight for like blankets and hats for the winter and things. So I like both. Those are both my favorites. Okay, the favorite style of yarn. I like um, self-striping and speckles. Those are two of my favorite um, types of yarn. And your favorite fiber is the next question. I like different fibers for different projects. I like wool nylon blends to make the yarn sturdier for like socks and um, like heavily worn projects. And then I like acrylic for making blankets and um, hats and things that are washable, you know, that, you know, you give to maybe like a non-yarny friend so that they can just wash and dry it and it won't shrink on them. Okay, and so the next question is what's your favorite brand of yarn? Okay, so I have my favorite brands of yarn are um, with the self-striping. I like this Brazen Stitchery. She's got a really nice self-striping that she does. And then Kirby Werby. Let me see. I'll just put them both up here together so you can see them. But both of them are really nice um, self-striping dyers. I just happen to have these two um, from Christmas um, in my stash. But I use them like as soon as I get them usually because they're super fun to knit with and like all look at all those colors it's crazy and you can make hats with skinny stripes or you could make socks with uh like larger stripes or fingerless mitts i just love using the self-striping yarn so both of these are are two of my favorites i love lots of dyers so those are two of my favorite self-striping dyers. And then my speckling one that I really like is this Kate Celine. She has fabulous speckly yarn. I don't know if you can see that. It's not focusing. There we go. So it knits up fabulous. I just love I love how it looks in projects. I also had this little mini bundle of Kate Celine that I just had in my stash. I thought I would show it to you, but it's just all different speckles. So those are two of my, or three of my favorite um, brands of yarn, but I, I like lots of other brands as well. So, and the, Number six is, what's your favorite brand of yarn that isn't easy to get in your country? Okay, so I, okay, I have already showed you one of them, but the other one is a homespun house. And just, um, these are older um, homespun house. I believe she has a different label now, but these are two different labels from different eras of her yarn. <laughs> And like, like with the other ones, I use it kind of quickly when I get it. So I don't have one with her newer label on it. But a homespun house, she's in Germany, I believe, now. And she has really cool yarn. It's a little bit harder to get. It just takes time. You know, you have to wait for the order and everything. But that's one of my favorites that is a little bit harder to get. 
And she does speckles. And then oh, also, um, uh, Kate Celine is a little bit harder to get. Um, she's in the UK. And she does, you know, awesome speckles. So I would say those two, um, the Homespun House and Kate Celine, are a little bit harder to get. But um, those are two of my favorites that are outside of the country. Okay, let's see. And the next question is, what's your favorite online store? So I, I, <laughs> I like, I like another indie dyer. I'm going to show you her yarn. And I honestly, I use hers as soon as I get it. And so all I have is these two like partially wound um, skeins. And she has an online shop. And hers is um, Chelsea Yarns. And this is what the yarn looks like. Now she has all different types of yarn. This is just, this just happens to be what I have in my stash of her yarn. But she has like a really nice indie dyed yarn uh, online company that I buy from. And, and I don't have any just a standard, you know, like uh, wool that's, you know, a sock yarn because I, I use it like right away when I get it. So, <laughs> okay. And then the next one uh, for my favorite online um, store is Ice Yarns. So I really love um, shopping from Ice Yarns, especially when, when I'm going to get like a blanket quantity of acrylic yarn, or if I'm going to get a bunch of um, acrylic yarn for hats, for gifts, or for like the homeless shelter or anything like that where I want to get a lot of acrylic yarn to make something that is washable or, you know, shawls, any kind of, I, I get a lot of acrylic and I get a lot of worsted from them. So like these are, these are wool melange, these two. And I, these are two of my favorite to knit hats with in the winter time. And then this one is jeans wool. And this is another one of my favorites. And it's just really nice to knit with and crochet. So I really enjoy ice yarns as well. Okay, and then what uh, number eight is what's your favorite bricks and mortar store? So um, I my favorite store here in uh, the Denver area is called the Loopy U. And they're fabulous. I haven't been there though. Uh, they're really great. I haven't been there since you know, the quarantine, but, um, but once it seems a little bit better, which is pretty soon, I think, um, I might be going back up there, you know, with, uh, one of my yarn buddies, Hillary, <laughs> when everything's clear here. So, so the Loopy U definitely is my favorite, uh, local LYS bricks and mortar store. Okay. And so the next one, um, is do you keep scrap yarn and what do you do with it? <laughs> okay, so I brought like sh show and tell, like what do I make with my scrap yarn? So I keep a lot of leftover sock yarn and I just wanted to show you a couple things that I've made with it. So I have quite a bit left over usually. And so, um, so I just recently made this blanket with some leftover sock yarn and I love it. It's just a lightweight, like summertime kind of blanket. And I just used one strand of the sock yarn and I crocheted it. And you can see it in another video. I'll link that down below if you're interested. But it's just a granny striped um, scrappy blanket. And then um, also I have crocheted these little shawls with the leftover scraps. This is a recent one that I've crocheted that is a gift for someone, but I actually have another one of these that I've started for myself. So um, I'll show you that in the next episode. But this is another um, use for it. And this is just like a scrappy granny um, triangle shawl. And that's in my last video. I also have knit these, um, these shawls. And I can link below the pattern names that I've used. 
But this is a, a knit shawl on the bias with all kinds of scraps. And I love, I love them. They're like super lightweight and cozy um, to wear. So I love to knit with the scraps. I have a second one. This is the second one that I knit that I really like because I love the first one so much. So, sorry about my squeaky chair. But this is the second one. Now I've showed these in older videos, but I love those. And then also with scraps, scrap yarn, um, sock yarn, I've knit pairs of scrappy socks. So this is just picking up different, uh, you know, little mini skeins and knitting a pair of socks. So there's a lot of ends to weave in with this type of thing, but it's fun. I do enjoy doing that. And also I made these uh, fingerless mitts with scraps too. These were mostly with Kate Celine's yarn, but let's see. But yeah, so it's just like sleeves kind of. And I have another video where I show these and talk in more detail about them. But so that's another thing you can do with scraps. So that's kind of what I do with all my, my scraps. Okay, and then the next thing is what's your favorite thing to crochet or knit? So I, um, and I thought I would tell you one of each, like one thing of knit and one thing of crochet, but I love to do all sorts of um, different kinds of things. But I guess I would say my favorite thing to knit is socks. Um, yeah, I guess, I mean, I love to knit all kinds of things. I love to knit fingerless mitts, hats, um, scarves, shawls, but, um, I would say I mostly, you know, if I had to figure out the most amount of things that I've knit in one of those categories, it would be socks. And then, um, crochet. I, um... I would say my favorite thing to crochet is, especially in the summertime, is market bags. So um, I have a video and I'll put the link up above and then down below in the notes. Um, I like to crochet market bags in the summertime with scraps. So this is one of them. And I just, I thought I would show you a few of them that I have in my little market bag stash. I'll just quickly show you a few but yeah if you want to make this market bag with me I have a video and I'll and you can crochet along with me let's see there's the handle but I thought I would show them you know some of my market bags with scraps there's another one okay so <laughs> All right, so I really do, I, I like to do those in the summertime when it's hot and you know, with the cotton yarn, it's a little easier to work with in the summertime for me, you know, to have on my lap instead of having wool, like a big blanket or something. Okay, and then um, the next uh, thing is, I'd like to tag Z and her channel is Z-E-L-D-A-N-R-J-3. And she's a beautiful maker and she's super sweet and creative and she's super fun. You'll love to watch her channel. She makes all kinds of fun things and just she has lots of beautiful makes. So you have to go check her out. I'm going to link her down below. I'll also put her name right here. So Z, I can't wait to see what your answers are to the questions. Thanks again, Kara. Rambutina for tagging me on this. Thanks. I enjoyed it. Bye.